Thanks for being here. Uh, you know, the, the atmosphere tonight uh, at Chappie Field on Anderson Stadium was kind of what we've all dreamed about. Um, I thought the semifinal atmosphere was pretty electric, and that was, that was incredible. That was absolutely incredible. And, uh, you know, I want to appreciate our fans for coming out and the lacrosse community in general to support the event. Uh, my heart just goes out to our seniors who have just, you know, elevated our program in such a dramatic way uh, in, in, a, in a short period of time. Um, they've certainly done their job in terms of raising the bar, um, and now they pass the torch to the next group. But uh, hats off to Marquette. Uh, that is a group that uh, is very similar to us. We've always had one goal games with them. Um, I, I, I love uh, how they coach. I love how they play. Uh, every ground ball is a battle. And, um, you know, they just made a couple more plays than us today. Yeah, I, I thought in the second quarter we got a, a little bit away from who we are. Um, they scored two goals where we, you know, neglected to slide. Uh, and then another goal where it was a you know, what we call a big little pick, and we switched a short stick onto um, up onto 77 Wagner. Uh, but then we chased it from behind instead of trusting that short stick that he'd do a good job on the ball, and and then we can slide to him again from somewhere else. But I, I thought we got away from things a little bit there on the defensive end, and, and they're a group that will expose you when you do. Coach Jay Alter with the Big East Digital Network. In such a close game, in your opinion, what was the difference You know, in such a fine margin? Well, when you look at the stat line, you know, we, we had more shots. Um, but I think they shoot really, really well. I, I think they were patient and um, worked for worked for good shots. We knew that that's who they are, and, and they have some excellent shooters. Um, I thought we turned the ball over, you know, way too much in the second half, and uh, unfortunately, that's been a little bit of an Achilles' heel of ours um, this season. Uh, you know, you know, we could talk about us being young and, and those types of things, but at this stage, that. That really doesn't happen. I don't think you win championships turning the ball over um, as many times as we did uh, in the offensive box there. KJ Hammond, Friars.com. Coach, you said the seniors willed you to this point in the final huddle. What have the seniors done over the past four years to get you to this point in time, Big East Championship, uh, making history? Yeah, you know, first of all, they've developed so much as, as lacrosse players over their time here. You know, with the commitment to the weight room and you know buying into what we teach, um, but you know beyond that, so things you you really the the, um, the spectators and the reporters don't see is you know behind the scenes stuff. You know, holding the team accountable, you know, to certain behaviors on and off the field, demanding it of 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 their teammates at practice every single day, uh, which enabled us to get better. Um, yeah, our our senior group, those guys evolved as players and got better. Um, but my, my biggest concern is not the talent that we lose, which is immense. You know, when you got to talk about guys like Jared Newman and Jimmy Cunningham, you know, but um, more so how they um, took command of the locker room and the overall culture of the team. So my hope is that the, the, the younger guys have, have taken notes for sure. And I think they have. Chris, Kevin McNamara at the Providence Journal. What were you thinking coming into that very last time out? Obviously, when you get the you know loose ball and had a point blank shot, just went a little high in the last shot. Yeah, I thought I thought we managed the end of the game very well. Um, we used our timeouts, the big ground ball in the alley, which allowed us to you know get possession. Um, you know, and then when we did not score. We got the ball back on a really tough ground ball by Joe McHale, which was incredible. And, and he got pushed in the back, and that gave us a chance to play man up uh, with 33 seconds left and the 30 second penalty. That's really an ideal situation. You know, both teams have used their timeouts and we're down by one with the ball and, and we're man up. Um, unfortunately, I don't think, uh, yeah, we did get one good look at the cage. 
Yep, with uh, Ryan Schaefer, um, but then lost it from there. Uh, it would have been nice to see it go to overtime. I thought our our um, advantage in the faceoff game might have helped us there if we had a chance to go to overtime. Uh, your fifth year, is that right? Right. Is this about where you thought that the program could be, have a chance to, to go to the NCAA tournament, uh, which is, you know, that's a long way. Yeah, I'll, you know, I'm more of a day-by-day -day grinder guy. I keep my head down and, you know, I, I don't really set big five-year term goals like that. I'm, I'm just not capable. Uh, my, my, my wife tries to make plans for us and I just, I just want to get through the day or through the week. I'm just not, I'm not that type of person. I just think that our, our process is just try to get a little bit better every single day. And, um, you know, we have done that, and, and that's enabled us, to, you know, to get to this point. Coach, I'm also a day-by-day -day kind of guy. And one day you look up and you have this nice, chappy field at Anderson Stadium, a nice crowd. Could you just talk about the atmosphere out there and what this all means to you coming together? Yeah, I'm so proud of the venue. and. You know, listen, it, it's all exceeded every expectation I had before I, before I came here. Um, and, and just, it is a little bit rewarding for me to put a, a product on the field that just plays so hard. You know, and I think um, whether you're a, an avid lacrosse fan or a novice fan, you can, te you can see that our guys play hard and they care about each other and they play lacrosse the right way. And uh, it's just cool to have an event like this where, uh, people can can get a taste of that, and uh, hopefully we can continue to create this atmosphere here where Providence College becomes like kind of a lacrosse school. Chris, Nick Coy from ABC6. Uh, along those lines, uh, you've got your program playing in conference championship this weekend. You've got Brown down the street. They're playing in a conference championship. Bryant just won its conference today. Can you speak to the, the growth of the sport and the spotlight that's, that's here in this area on it now? Yeah, it's great. You know, the you know the smallest state in the country, and ha we have three, you know, big time committed Division One lacrosse programs, and um, we all compete against one another, but we also support one another uh, for sure, and and we kind of push each other to to get better uh, as programs, and certainly when we compete against each other. So uh, it, it is pretty exciting to see what's going on right now in the state of Rhode Island. 